Folks, I've had a subscriber ask an interesting question. He's asking, how can you take 1080p video and make a piece of square video, like a, instead of 16.9 or instead of 4.3, do an actual 1.1? One, one. And it turns out it's for an art project he's doing. And I thought that was an unusual request at first because I'm thinking, well, what's he going to display it on? Well, he's going to display it on a uh, 1920 by 1080 screen. So really, it's going to be as simple as probably putting black to the left and right and doing a uh, you know kind of a masking out of a, of a bit of video, but I'm going to actually show both ways. Let's say you actually did, for some reason, for some weird way, need to do an odd piece of uh, video that's 1-1 one, one or 1-2 one, or 1-3 or I don't know, 16-4. Uh, there are ways you can do very unusual sizes of videos using Premiere Pro. I'm using the CC uh, 2015 version and I'm doing this in uh, in January of 2016. So I've brought a piece of video in and it's just me doing a, uh, a review of Force Awakens. I thought it was a pretty good movie. A lot of people don't like it. Some people are really picking it apart, and I understand that. Anyway, this is just me in my nasty studio. Let's say I wanted to just do my head, uh, but he wants 1080p video, so I'm going to do exactly what he's asking for. Um, I'm going to first. I'm going to. Well, I'm going to do a new. I, I, I right clicked, and I'm going to do a new sequence. I could have gone up here uh, under File at the very top, and I could have uh, done File New Sequence. But I've got uh, sequence, and I've got red in here now. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do one sequence. What's called red sequence, and uh, this is this is the second way I wanted to show you actually. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I'm gonna say new. Um, I'm gonna do a new sequence again here. You can go up under file and do new sequence, or I'm just right clicking in here and doing it. And I'm gonna go to. I usually just work in regular old AVC HD. I'm gonna go a 1080p, and I'm gonna pick a sequence that is 1080p 24. Because uh, I think I shot this in 24, 23, 997, you can see here. So I'm going to say OK. And then we'll call this one uh, regular. This is not the red sequence. And I'll show you why I picked red a minute ago. We'll work with the regular first. So I can take this uh, 1080p uh, video of me doing this uh, Force Awakens thing. You can see if I hover over it here, it is 1920 by 1080 uh, in square pixels. So I'm going to pull that down here on to this, and so I have a 1920 by 1080 uh, bit of video here. I'll go ahead and size it right. It doesn't matter if it's a little bigger, does it? And so he wants this to be square. What I've done, the way I decided I'd do it, I, I went into Photoshop and I made a 1080p square. I made a square. You see, so I hover over that. Uh, look there again. It says 1080 by 1080, right? So that is actually a 1080p square. I'm going to put it over the top of this. And we'll see now, right now, you see a square piece of video, right? Or you see a square on top of this. This is exactly 1080p. Now, I'm going to go over to uh, Crop. And I'm going to take Crop, and I'm going to drop that onto the Star Wars The Force Awakens right there, right? Uh, to, so this is, this is actually the piece of video that I'm going to make a square piece of video. And now I'm going to go up under Effects Controls here. And I'm going to go to, uh, well, you know, I can do, I think I, can, I have to do left or right. So I'm going to do left first. And I'm going to come in here till I'm just touching that. I know I could mathematically do this. But there you go. It looks like I got that right at 22%. So I'm assuming that the right, if I go, all I'm doing, I'm getting on this zero. And I'm just, uh, as you see, I get the little left and right little arrows on there. I'm going to hold down and drag. So I'm going to go to 22% with this one too, probably. Looks like 22% works. So now I've got the square piece of video on top, and I'm going to take the, the square off. I'm going to hit delete. I just clicked on it and deleted it. And now I have a mask where I'm inside that, and that is square video. So let's say I wanted to render this out. I'm going to do a, a hit the C key to cut this. I just want a little bit of it as a test. I do this, and I've got 1-1 uh, um, video. Uh, not 16-9. It's 1-1. to one. He wanted 1080p tall and 1080p wide. So that's what you've got there. And if I were to go render this out, I would click on, make sure that this, the blue is around this. I'm clicked on this window. Now you can't see I got it cropped out. I shouldn't have cropped it out, but I say file. And I'm going to, or excuse me, I'm going to say uh, export media. And here it'll come up. And you see what I'm going to get. And I'll just, I could set my settings however I wanted to set them here. I could say, well, I want this to be, I don't know, 15 megs per second rather than 10 megs per second or whatever. And maybe a top end of 18 or something. 
and if I hit uh, export, I'll choose where this goes, it's going to be 1080p video that will play on a 1080 p a 1920 by 1080 screen, uh, but it will look like 1-1 one, one video. I'm going to cancel that, but there you see how you would output that. It will really be 1920 by 1080 video. But it will have just uh, just this part that will that will render out. That's what you'll see, and it'll render out black bars to either side. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go back to this red for a minute here. So uh, I, I did this, and I should not have went ahead and pulled it in. I'll go ahead and delete this for a second. I'm going to do again a right click. I'm going to go new item, and I'm going to go sequence. And this time, I'm going to pick the red, and I'm going to red RD3 as my as my template here. I'm going to go to 1080p, and I'm going to go to 1080p, 1692397. I'm really just picking this because I know it's 23997 video because I got up here 20 or 20, 23976, excuse me. I get the 997 messed up in my mind from, from 30p video, but here we go. 23976, 23976. Okay, now before I say okay, I'm not going to do okay yet. I'm going to go to settings. And the reason, why did I pick red? Well, I've tried a bunch of the other settings. And red is like the only one I've found so far. Now, there may be others in here, but since I played around with some red video, I know that I can go here and I can change these frame sizes. If you do a whole bunch of the other ones, just a lot of the standard ones, it will not let you edit this. But I can actually go here and I can put in 1080, right? And I'm going to have 1-1. It actually says it vertical 1-1. For some reason, this red cinema... Uh, template or preset here will let you do this. Now it's still going to video preview out as 1080. Well, it's going to be got 1080, 1080. Pretty cool. I'll say okay. I thought it would still do the 1920, but it doesn't. So here we go. We've got actually a square bit of video here, don't we? So now I can pull my Star Wars into this. And it asks, do I want to change the sequence settings? No, I don't. I want to keep existing settings. And there I am in the middle of a uh, one one uh, actual there's no there's no black bars I had to put on anything now to, I don't know how this would play on a television I have no idea I, I've never tried to play this if I up upload this to YouTube would it upload as one one video I do not know YouTube would probably I'm guessing put the bars on here maybe that's another little thing I could try but I actually here have now I actually have a bit of video that is automatically cropping this off. And if I click on this again, this, this window here, so that I can do the um, the export, I go File, I go to Export Media. I'm going to be exporting, you can see here, this, this kind of video. Now, I'm going to cancel that for a second, because I'm going to do just a little bit of it. I'm going to do, you know, three seconds, four, four seconds of this video. So I'm going to hit the C key again. I'm going to cut this. It turns it into a little uh, razor blade. Hit the V to go back to pointer or select key. I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to render this much of it out. Let's render this. I'm going to say File, Export Media. And I'm going to call it 1-1 one, one Test. 1-1 one one TST. I'm going to put this on my desktop, I think. Just on the desktop. Okay. And I'm going to say save. And I'm going to leave it at 10 and 12. That's fine. We'll say export. This shouldn't take long to render it all. Okay. Now, I actually, over here on my screen, I'm going to pull it over here. I'm going to pull it over here where we can see it. Well, I could, I could, uh, I could, I could pull this in, I guess. That's what we got. Folks, that is one one video. If I pull it up in QuickTime or just double click on it, here it is coming up just as a regular old QuickTime file. So here's a 1080p or 1080 by 1080. Hey folks, Tony here. I'm going to do a quick little review. So that's playing in actual QuickTime. So there you go. You can make really any size of video that you want to make. Any size video you want to make. If you use that red setting, now, there, there may be some other presets in there that will do the same thing. I've played with dozens of them, and the red is the only one that allow me to actually really make weird, funky, alternate-sized videos. I hope that's helped someone who needs to make strange-shaped video if you need to in the future. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe if you like.